Today we're going to be unboxing the new Trezor Safe 3 range. I'm James Edwards and I've been using Trezor products for six years now, so I'm actually very excited to get hands on with their latest release and I'm keen to see how it stacks up against my older Model 1, which is still my daily wallet for crypto. Today's video is sponsored by Trezor. They've been kind enough to provide us with the Safe 3 for review today. The Trezor Safe 3 is a hardware wallet for keeping your cryptocurrency safe. It stores the private keys for up to 8,000 different cryptocurrencies offline. Now this keeps them secure from things like hacks, malware or phishing attacks. And in addition to storing your crypto, you can use the Trezor software to buy and sell cryptocurrency from within your wallet. Now that means that you never have to risk putting your money on a centralized exchange and you can also use your hardware wallet for DeFi which gives you an additional layer of security. So if you want to find out more about Trezor products, just visit trezor.io. Now, before we get stuck in, I do just want to recap how hardware wallets work. A hardware wallet is used to keep your private keys offline. This means that your private keys are never connected to the internet. That protects them from attacks or malicious software. But what actually is a private key? Well, you can think of a private key like a password. It's basically your address on the blockchain where your cryptocurrency is stored. So a hardware wallet holds your private key and keeps your cryptocurrency safe. This means that you also completely own your coins and you're not trusting them with a third party like a centralized exchange. So if you're serious about cryptocurrency, it's worth investing in a hardware wallet. All right, so let's take a look at what's actually in the box. Now, this is a very special edition box that we received from Trezor. Um, normally you'd just be buying one device, but we've actually got all four of them. So we can have a look today at the four different colors that it comes with. Um, but yeah, let's just kind of take a look at the device. The, uh, the first thing that I've noticed is that this is actually a bit smaller than the previous generation of Trezors, which is really nice. It's got a really firm uh, kind of build quality to it. I'm pretty sure that if I actually dropped this, it would stay intact. So that's really good to know, given that, you know, this is the key to your cryptocurrency. It's a really simple device. It just has this LED screen here, which is actually really nice and bright. So you should be able to see it in kind of any conditions. And then it's just two buttons. And honestly, this is what I love about Trezors is their simplicity. I've used a bunch of other hardware wallets and I love these because it's just basically yes or no. The commands come up on the screen. You're just confirming them or denying them. It makes transactions really fast and simple. So especially if you're a really like active DeFi user or power user like me, uh, this will make your trading experience a lot easier than some other products that, uh, you know, you've got to actually like scroll through, type things in. So yeah, that's kind of why I love these products. You know, they're just so simple, they work great. Um, and I love the, you know, the range of coins that they support is basically all the, all the main ones that I use. Uh, now, one thing I want to talk you through is with these devices, when you get them, they'll come with this uh, safe uh, security seal here. And this is one of the most important things that you have to check when your device arrives. It's basically a tamper-proof seal. And it, when yours arrives, if you see that there's anything wrong with this, don't plug it into your computer, don't use the device at all. You need to get in contact with Trezor immediately because it means that someone could have uh, installed malicious firmware on the device. So usually when you get it, um, the box should be wrapped in plastic. Just make sure that everything looks correct because you wanna make sure that you know your device is trustworthy. Recovery Seeds are random collections of words. It's about 12 or 24 words long. It's a human readable format of a private key, which normally consists of a very long, confusing chain of characters. So this readable form was actually invented by Trezor's founders. But seed phrases are random collections of words. Some people try memorizing them, but honestly, that's really risky. So most people choose to write them down and store them safely. But if you want something more durable, then you can actually get a device like this. The Trezor Keep Metal is a specially designed product for keeping your recovery seed extremely secure. You can use the tools provided to engrave your seed phrase on this, which is then stashed in the protective canister. And then once you've done that, you can actually seal it with these uh, security stickers to protect it from tampering. So you know if someone else has actually accessed your device and seen your private keys. The whole thing is made of stainless steel, so it's actually fire, water and impact resistant. And I can tell you in my hands now, this thing is seriously durable. Back to the Trezor Safe 3, and let's discuss some of the safety features. The Safe 3 uses a secure element EAL6 Plus chip. Now I know that sounds like a mouthful, but basically it's the same sort of technology that is used to secure bank cards and cutting edge smartphones. 
The Safe 3 is the only one in the Trezor range with this chip, and it's why I'll be switching over to the Safe 3 for my old Trezor Model 1. So this is secured using a pin, which is easy to input, and you can go on further and add a passphrase as well if you like. For the pin, you just use the buttons to scroll left and right and press both at the same time to enter the number. Now, unlike on the older Trezor Model 1, you can actually store your pin, recovery seed, and passphrase directly on the device. So that means you don't need to store it on a computer, and this adds another layer of security because the Trezor device can't be compromised remotely. So these buttons are also used with the software to confirm the choices on your device. So it means that anytime you make a transaction or you approve something, you'll confirm the details on your device first. That again adds an additional layer of security even if your computer becomes compromised. Okay, so what about the software that actually powers all of these devices? Well, the Trezor Suite software brings it all to life and it can be accessed via your desktop. The dashboard gives you an overview of your wallet balances and you can make transactions from here. So you can buy, sell, send and receive funds directly from the wallet. Now that means that you don't actually have to risk using an exchange and worry about leaving your funds on the exchange. Everything can be handled directly from your Trezor wallet. The wider Trezor ecosystem, including Trezor Suite, is incredibly easy to use. It's really ideal for newcomers to crypto and it has all of the kind of advanced features that more experienced users would like as well. Now, when it comes to DeFi, in my opinion, the only way to use DeFi is with a hardware wallet. So if you're a DeFi power user like me, rest assured that you can actually use your Trezor in combination with a Web3 wallet like MetaMask for enhanced security. So I mentioned earlier that I've been using a Model 1 for six years now. So despite owning more advanced wallets, it's still my go-to wallet because of how easy and quick it is to use. Now, given that the Safe 3 does all the same things, but with greater security and a slightly smaller form factor, I'll definitely be making the switch. So if you're thinking about getting your first hardware wallet, then the Trezor Safe 3 is definitely worth checking out. So the Safe 3 is only 79 US dollars, so that's about 120 Australian dollars, and this makes it one of the most affordable options in its class. Now, let's say you already have a hardware wallet, you still may want to consider upgrading just to get access to that EAL6 Plus chip, which will give you that added peace of mind. So thank you for watching. Now, if you're looking for more information about crypto wallets or cryptocurrency in general, then head over to finder.com.au.